we are underneath the band. So there's a whole world down here with uh, all of our control, RF world, tech, uh, what they need for their jobs. It's kind of cool during the show to know that there's so many pieces moving down here that no one ever gets to see, but it's a dance and we're just down here greasing the engine. Uh, my name is Paul Clipson. I am the monitor engineer for the 2018, some of 19 Man of the Woods Justin Timberlake tour. For this show, we're running about 70 to 80 channels of wireless. Everyone wants everything to be wireless all the time. My name is Elliot Wiley, and I am the RF coordinator out here on Justin Timberlake. The standards are high out here. You know, if JT's ears were to cut out you'd for a second, that would be a big deal. And so that can't happen. Axiant Digital is really key when you have this many channels in tight spaces. All these markets are A markets, big cities. To be able to really take advantage of all the space you can, uh, you gotta have the, the a wide range. Uh, as far as RF performance and you know the RF superhighway of less and less space now, um, I never know what he goes through. I walk in, I ask him, "Hey, how are the numbers today?" And he'll either be like, "You know, oh, well, it's you know, okay," or just you know, ready, ready to rock, wide open. Uh, we're running the roads completely wireless, including a car a boat battery with an inverter, which is great for old school ground hum. Uh, but as well, where there's two um, Axiom 81s on that with guitar jacks. And it's way cleaner because there's no physical contact between the roads and our system. Hi, I'm Andy Meyer, do front of house for Justin Timberlake. What I like about the Axiom Digital is not only does the AES sound great, but the analog outputs, the D to A converters are good. Sonically, it's very pleasing and very warm. It doesn't get, ever give up. There's no, ooh, I wish it would just give you that extra little bit. So whatever the mic's bringing in from the room, the vocal is still right there in the middle. And it just feels like there's a wider highway of information coming audio-wise to the desk. I'm not fixing anything because of that's how it's coming from the receiver. It's just wide open. The other part I love is uh, we can actually track the health of the signal. Actually, that's helped out quite a bit because if you see the RF level, um, the amplitude might be great, but the quality is low you know you're actually right on top of uh, probably another intermod. And that happens occasionally. And the only reason that you would figure that out is through that quality meter. Axiom Digital is significant. It doesn't really cause intermods, or it, it does, but very, very little, to the point where you don't have to worry about it. Because if you're doing this stuff with uh, UHFR, it would be just extremely difficult. And that being gone, you can actually make it work and know it's gonna work every time. As far as the gear and the rack, I mean, it's that rack's been together since last November. We had it out in LA for the rehearsals and you know got everything dialed in, levels, saved it all to the file. When you sync something, it comes up to the right level on the packs on the, themselves. But I mean, it's been all over America once, to Europe once, and now we're still going. And there's really not, there's not much maintenance over there. You know, it's a, it's a solid system. Um, it, it, you can count on it every day, and it sounds great. It's truly a pleasure to use. And just going back to saying I can use uh, digital outputs, analog outputs, different sample rates. It's got all the options. I mean, there's, there's really nothing untouched in it that you can't do or see or meter. It's got everything in, inside of that you want for RF options, you know, as far as those things go, plus the audio, audio quality. And I mean, the sticks are robust, they feel right. Uh, it's just a really solid product. 